So in this video, we are going to talk about the question in thermal and statistical physics which appeared in GATE 2009 examination. The first question is, the probability that an energy level E at a temperature T is unoccupied by a fermion of chemical potential mu is given by. Okay, so first of all, let's uh, uh, write the expression for the probability that a particle energy state with energy E is occupied. So probability. probability that a energy state is occupied. So I'm talking about the uh, fermionic system. So that that's given by basically the uh, the Fermi direct probability distribution function. So let denote it by PE. So that is equal to one upon one plus exponential. E minus mu upon kVt. We mu is the chemical potential. Okay, so let's call this as equation one. Now the probability that uh, uh, that this energy state is unoccupied that's given by one minus PE. So that is equal to one minus one over exponential E minus mu upon kT plus one. And this upon solving, uh, it will give us 1 plus exponential E minus mu upon kVt minus 1. This is Boltzmann constant, okay. Divided by exponential E minus mu upon kVt plus 1. So, 1 and 1 will cancel with each other. So, ultimately we are left with this point exponential e minus mu by kt divided by this expression. So, we can bring this uh, term to the denominator so that we are left with 1 upon. So, this will become with the negative sign. So, 1 upon 1 plus exponential. So, now, uh, now because of the additional negative sign in the denominator, so we, we need to invert it mu minus e upon kVt. Okay. So, therefore, uh, C is the correct option here. So, let's take a look at the next problem. So, we are given a system of uh, two level uh, quantum system with energies E1 equal to 0 and E1 is equal to E. So, let's draw first the energy level for the given system. It's a two level system with energy 0 and E. The Helmholtz free energy of the system is given by. So, before finding out the Helmholtz free energy, we need to find the partition function for this system. So, the <coughs> partition function for the system is given as uh, sum over all energy states G i exponential minus beta E i. Because uh, states, nothing is mentioned about the degeneracy of the system. So, we will take it to be equal to unity. So, the partition function is uh, 1 plus exponential minus beta E. So, this is corresponding to this uh, energy state and this term corresponds to this state. Okay. So, that is a partition function. Now, the Helmholtz free energy that is uh, F H Helmholtz free energy that is related to the partition function as A that is equal to minus kVt logarithmic of the partition function. So, that is equal to minus kVt ln 1 plus exponential minus beta E which is exponential minus E upon kT. Okay. So, therefore, uh, option A is the correct one here. So, let us continue with the next problem uh, that, that is also connected with this uh, this one. So, here the specific heat of this system is given by. So, we require the information about, uh, about the partition function for, uh, for this purpose. So, the partition function for the same system is. So, here I will continue with the information of the partition function from previous step. Z that is equal to 1 plus exponential minus beta E. Okay, so in order to find out the specific heat, first we need to find out the average energy of the system. Okay, so let me call this as expression equation one. So the average energy of the system is given by U that is equal to minus curly 
curly beta of L and Z that is equal to minus curly curly beta logarithmic of 1 plus exponential minus beta e and that is equal to minus 1 over 1 plus exponential minus beta e into exponential minus beta e into it's again the differential of the exponent with respect to beta into minus e so that is equal to e exponential minus beta e upon 1 plus exponential minus beta e so let me call this as equation 2 now uh, with the help of equation 2 we can immediately determine the heat capacity cv that is equal to du by dt at constant volume okay so that, that is equal to uh, so we have to obtain the differential of equation 2 with respect to temperature t okay so now this is equal to uh, we, so here we will apply differential of f by g f by g dash okay so that is g f dash minus f g dash upon g square so here g is 1 plus exponential minus beta e and f is this entire expression uh, this this one numerator is f so that is equal to g that is 1 plus exponential minus beta e g into f dash so that is differential of the numerator so remember that beta is equal to 1 upon kvt so that is e exponential minus e upon kt okay g into f dash and then uh, we will have we will have to differentiate uh, minus e by kt with respect to t so that will give us the e upon kt square okay now the uh, g f dash minus f g dash so minus f which is minus e exponential uh, minus beta e and then g dash so that, that means derivative of the uh, denominator into exponential minus beta e into e upon kv t square and this entire thing divided by the uh, g square so that's 1 plus exponential minus beta e its square okay so now uh, this can be rewritten as so cv after solving uh, this entire expression so taking the uh, the common terms among the these these uh, two uh, expressions so outside so cv that is equal to so we can take e square upon kv t square outside okay because here we are having e and e this multiply by e so that will give us e square upon kt square and the, similarly in the second term also and then multiply by exponential minus e upon kvt that's a common term and inside the bracket we are left with 1 plus exponential minus e upon kt okay so this is the first term here and then on the second term we will have the contribution of minus exponential minus e upon kt okay divided by g square that is 1 plus exponential minus e upon kt it's a square okay so this will cancel with this so ultimately we are left with cb that is equal to e square upon kvt square exponential minus e upon kt upon 1 plus exponential minus e upon kt it's a square okay so therefore it's e square upon kt square okay e square upon kt square and then exponential minus e upon kt and then 1 plus exponential minus e upon kt so therefore option d is the correct one here let's take a look at the final problem 
for the Fermi gas of n particles in three dimension at t is equal to zero Kelvin, the Fermi energy EF is proportional to. Okay, so uh, let's first first of all uh, try to find the expression for the total number of particles in a uh, in a this uh, Fermi system. So from there uh, we will uh, find the dependence of the number the number density of the particle with the Fermi energy. Okay, so we continue with the determination of the density of states in the uh, energy range E to E plus dE. Okay, so in principle, uh, why we need that information? That's uh, evident from this expression that the total number of particle in Fermi system that is equal to n, that is zero to infinity, and then the Fermi direct probability distribution function f of e, and then multiply by g e d e, which is the density of states in the energy range E to E plus dE, g e d e. Okay, and let me call this as expression equation one here. So we need to have the information about G E D E. So let's see how we can uh, find this information. So uh, as we learned in the microcanonical ensemble, so the number of states with the momentum less than or equal to p that is given by omega p that is equal to the volume available in the ordinary space multiply by the volume in the momentum space that is four by three pi p q. And then divided by the volume of a elementary cell in the three dimension. That's h cube. Okay, that is equal to omega p. Now from here, uh, we can determine the number of states in the momentum interval p to p plus dp, and that is given by omega dash p. That is equal to d omega p upon dp multiplied by dp. So if you do that. Then uh, we will have a factor of three p square dp here, and then that three three will cancel with three in the denominator here. Then ultimately we are left with uh, omega dash p that is equal to four uh, pi b. I am writing the expression after rearranging all the terms there. That h cube and then p square dp. So th three. And the factor of three is cancelled. Okay, so here I'm uh, going to multiply here this expression with the N S, which, which is called as spin degeneracy. Spin degeneracy for the electron. Okay, so this is equal to N S N S for the electron. That is equal to Two s plus one because s electron spin it's uh, it can take a value of half. So this is equal to two basically. Okay, so now uh, we can transform this expression in terms of in, uh, energy also. Okay, because uh, it's a non electron inside the metal. It's a non relativistic particle. So I can write the expression for the energy in terms of momentum p square upon two m. Okay, so from here we conclude that two p d p Upon 2m that is equal to dE or p dP. This is equal to m dE. So we are going to substitute it. Uh, uh, we are going to make use of uh, this result to obtain the density of states in terms of energy. Okay. So omega dash e. Omega dash e represents the energy states in the Uh, the number of states in the interval e to e plus dE. Okay, so I, I'm going to make use of this expression to write the expression for omega dash e. So here I'm going to replace p with the p with two m e and root here. This can be split into two terms p into p dP. So I will replace p with two m e and root and then p dP with this expression. Okay. So then uh, this expression, let me call this as equation two. So equation two reduces to in terms of energy. So this is equal to four pi n s b upon h cube and then p. That is two m e power one by two and then P D P, that is M D E, okay. Or uh, this is equal to. This can be further rewritten as four pi b upon h cube. So a factor of two from here. So uh, I am taking that into the uh, this uh, square root term. So that will become uh, because I am also having m outside. So this will become equal to two m power three by two. Okay, and then 
e power 1 by 2 de so that's the and this is equal to ge de the expression we are interested in okay so this is the uh, the simplest way to uh, mean uh, find the expression for the density of states uh, uh, in a one dimension two dimension or three dimension uh, so you can just generalize the procedure for other dimension also okay so therefore the equation uh, with the help of this result so let me call this as equation 3 so 1 and 3 implies that 1 and 3 implies that n is equal to so let, let me discuss another point here because uh, I didn't talk about the Fe. Fe is the uh, Fermi direct probability distribution function. So Fe, F of E, this is equal to 1 for energy less than Fermi level and this is equal to 0 for all energy greater than Fermi level. But remember that this is true at absolute 0, at t is equal to 0 Kelvin. So this, this is the temperature at which we have to uh, perform the calculations. Okay, So therefore n is equal to uh, I'm replacing the limit of the uh, integral from 0 to EF because beyond EF this integral it's going to vanish because the value of FE it's 0 for the energy greater than EF okay so therefore I'm replacing it with 1 and then GEDE so this is the value of GEDE here so then multiply it with uh, GEDE so that is 4 pi B upon H cube into 2m power 3 by 2 e power 1 by 2 de okay so so all these terms these are constant here so we, we have to only perform the integration with respect to e okay so therefore the number of uh, particles in this system so that is equal to 4 pi b upon h cube 2m power 3 by 2 and then uh, its integral that's ef power 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 okay so this after rearranging all these terms we can rewrite this result as n by v that's the uh, number density of the uh, particle so i'm bringing volume to this side okay so n by v that is equal to uh, this result can be written as 1 upon pi square and then 2m ef upon h cut square and its power 3 by 2 so this expression can be rearranged to this this one okay and then after inverting this equation so the result that we obtained invert this equation so invert so when uh, we are going to invert this uh, result, so we will obtain that EF that is equal to H, H cut square upon 2M multiply by 3 pi square N by B power 2 by 3. So from here we obtain the uh, dependence of the form energy on the uh, number of particles so basically or the, also it's the same for the number density so therefore from here we notice that the form energy is proportional to n power 2 by 3 so therefore option a is the correct one here